Welcome to the Cal Corporation's series of videos about software engineering. The topic of this video is accessibility of members. Before proceeding, make sure that you have already watched these other videos first. In a class, every member has an accessibility that that is either public, protected, or private. That goes for both data members and member functions. A programmer uses a tag to specify accessibility, which will then get applied to all subsequent members in the definition up until the next tag. Any members listed before the first tag will default to private. The struct keyword is interchangeable with the class keyword, except when you use struct, any members listed before the first tag will default to public instead. A public member can be used anywhere without restriction, but a private member cannot be used outside of that class's member functions. This is done to hide your class's implementation within a black box that the outside world shouldn't know or care about. A class could specify an exception to this by writing a friend statement, which would allow a certain other class or function to access private members that it otherwise wouldn't be able to access. There is no implied friend of friend relationship though. A member having protected accessibility is similar to a private member, but that protected member can also be accessed by any member function of any derived class. Notice that the public keyword is also used when a class derives from some base class. Normally, when you try to access an inherited member through the derived class, it will have the same accessibility restrictions that it had when you tried to access it directly through the base class. But you could change to private inheritance. Now, when accessing an inherited member through the derived class, it will effectively be treated as if it had had private accessibility. You could also change to protected inheritance, which causes members that had been public to become effectively treated as if they had been protected instead. Polymorphism still works, even if accessed via a less restrictive class in the inheritance hierarchy.